now we will learn about the micro operations for direct addressing mode and indirect addressing mode herein we will take two examples the examples are uh, move bl comma in square bracket 2000h and move cl comma in square bracket yeah, bx so the micro operations are the tiny tiny operations which are performed by the processor right uh, while an instruction is getting executed right uh, now we know that uh, uh, a computer uh, executes software right software it is a group of programs right and a program it is a group of instructions right now to execute every single instruction the processor needs to perform small small operations and those operations are known as micro operations right so uh, in this particular uh, uh, class we will learn about the micro operations for uh, the types of the instructions like direct addressing mode instruction and indirect addressing mode instruction so here Uh, we have an instruction move bl comma square bracket 2000h now what is the uh, meaning of this instruction the meaning of this instruction is that uh, this is if it is a square bracket it is a memory location right so uh, this memory location contains some value it contains some data so that data uh, we are moving it into bl register this is the meaning of this particular instruction now um, while writing the micro operations for this instruction we need to write the basic micro operations all the time computer works with a clock right and clock has different clock cycles so the clock cycles are mentioned here using the t states t stands for transition t states right so here T1, T2, T3, and if it required T4, T5, T6 clock states are uh, right. Now, what are the uh, basic micro operations that are happening while reading the instruction? Right. While reading the instruction, right, the very first uh, register that come in the picture inside the processor is the program counter. Right. Program counter is directed towards memory address register. this is what is mentioned here program counter is directed towards the memory address register now uh, it is it will happen in the first clock states state wherein it will take the address of the instruction through the uh, address bus to the memory address register now once we got the address memory the contents of the memory can be copied inside the memory buffer register memory buffer register is used for storing the value from the memory inside the processor right now once we have uh, taken the data right inside the memory buffer register right so that data will be instruction as well as the operand so memory buffer register then can be moved inside the instruction register in the third clock state and at the same time the program counter can be incremented by 1 program counter incremented by 1 because if you are fetched with one particular instruction then the program counter will point at the second instruction for execution that is the purpose for incrementing the program counter by 1 program counter can be incremented in t3 clock state or it can be incremented in t2 clock state now this is about the fetching operation this is about the fetching operation t1 t2 t3 now when we are writing the micro operation for direct addressing mode right as we have understood about the instruction we will write the specific uh, uh micro operations or the micro operations for execution because here the fetching of the instruction will happen right decoding is happening parallelly now we will write the micro operations for execution right now as we know that uh, what is happening inside this instruction so step by step we will represent that now in the fourth clock state as you can observe here 
address is moved inside the memory address register because this is not the data direct data is not given to us as in case of immediate addressing mode here direct data is not given to us so address is moved inside the memory address register now if the address is fetched inside the memory address register it is very show sure, very much uh, confirm that on that address there is a data that that data is there in the memory right so the data from the memory now can be moved inside the memory buffer register right so for example 77 is the value right which is available on this particular location 2000h so that will be moved inside the memory buffer register right uh, so that will happen in the fifth clock state right and in the last uh, clock state right the data will be moved inside the bl register this is the general purpose register right now if we have the address then that particular data can be moved inside the general purpose register that is the bl register right and this is how uh, we will write the micro operation for move bl bracket 2000h in the t1 uh, pc will be moved inside the mar in t2 memory will move inside the mbr in t3 mbr will go to ir pc will be incremented in t4 these are the micro operations for fetching in case of execution what will happen inside the instruction for that specific micro operations we will write so uh, address will go to mar this particular address will go to mar memory will go to mbr and then the data from the memory will go to bl and this is how this particular instruction will be executed now we will write the micro operation in the similar fashion for indirect addressing mode the very first thing that we need to understand for indirect addressing mode is that if the instruction is given to us move cl comma square bracket bx what is happening inside this instruction that is the first thing that we will try to understand right so move cl comma square bracket bx means bx register right uh, bx register is storing some value now that value is not the value of the data but that value is the memory location because it is in the square bracket right so if it is a memory location right so uh, that memory location will store some value right and that value can be moved inside the cl register right this is the meaning of this instruction now we'll write our regular micro operations for that so in t1 clock state pc is moved to memory address register as usual in case of second clock state memory will go to memory memory will be the content from the memory will be moved to memory buffer register and uh, the instruction that have come inside the memory buffer register along with the operand will moved inside the ir register and uh, parallelly uh, pc will be incremented by 1 All right now as it is a memory location bx will go to mar in the fourth clock state because there is a there is, this this deals with the memory uh, location memory addressing so memory address register will once again come into the picture bx will go go to bx content can be moved inside the memory address register wherein the memory location will be found out if the memory location is found out then the data from the memory can be taken means the data from the square bracket bx can be taken in, inside the memory buffer register if now instruction along with the data is now available right for the memory buffer register right so in execution phase we know that the content from the memory buffer register can be moved inside the cl register in the six clock state so that here the value which you would like to move inside the cl register will be moved finally in the six clock state inside the cl register right 
these are the micro operations t1 t2 t3 for fetching the data and these are the micro operations t4 t5 and t6 for executing the instruction this is about fetching the instruction this is about executing the instruction and this is how uh, we will write the micro operation for uh, indirect uh, addressing mode instructions